Laravel Tinker on the command line has been one of the best and most helpful debugging tools from the very beginning. We can take this one step further and use Laravel Tinker in PHP Storm in an interactive way without having to restart with autocomplete and a bunch of other helpful tools. This is a blank Laravel project and we have to install a plugin called Laravel Tinker. So if we open up plugins and we search the marketplace for Tinker, it's going to be this one right here by Robin Sheppers. So just install this. After that's installed, if you hit Control Shift T, it brings up this new window. And in this new window is when you can start, you know, trying out code. So let's say we wanted to see what happens when we do a JSON decode on an empty array. Now on the Mac, if you hit Command Shift T, it'll run this. On Windows, there's a conflicted shortcut, so you'd have to adjust your shortcut. You can click this green button to run it, and once you run it, over here on the right, it's going to show you the output. So if we want to adjust that shortcut, we can open up the keyboard shortcuts. And if we click this button here, we can just do Control Shift T or Command Shift T. And we can see that there's a conflicting shortcut. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove that. This is a really big time saver. So now when I hit Command Shift T, every time I do that while I'm in Tinker, it's going to run the code. What does an empty string equals? Like if I do empty on an empty string, does that, um, you know, does that evaluate to true? So you could either just, you know, you could put something here or just simply go like this and it will output the value there. So Again, this is the one of the best, most useful tools that I use on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm just trying to test out to see what a little part of the code that I'm working on um, is doing. I'll copy and paste it from another file and just put it in here. You know, you might have to tweak it because it's going to include other files, which you can still include like other classes here if you, you know, if you, there was something in the controller that you wanted to do. So like, um, just look at something in the controllers and then you know, there's, you can really just do whatever it is that you need to do. I tend to keep them pretty small, um, small bite-sized units. It's easier to work with there, but yeah, I hope that was helpful for you guys.